The cash-strapped Parks and Wildlife Management Authority placed an advert in the national press a week ago calling for expressions of interest from people willing and able to buy and look after its beasts. The country is famed for its wide variety of wildlife, including elephant and lions, but officials fear many of the animals will not survive current drought conditions. I think we're going to lose a lot of animals this year due to drought. And I think national parks are doing a sort of a risk preparedness for this and taking action prior to the actual drought and death of animals happening. The authority is asking interested parties to demonstrate their capacity by stating the size and location of their land, current land use and infrastructure such as water sources, fences, fire guards and manpower. Some activists are concerned about controls over the buyers. How are they going to be able to screen and also to monitor once these individuals have expressed that interest to say we have got the capacity to take on board these animals? Would they be able to do the monitoring as, a, as a, the Parks and Wildlife Authority? Or it's simply once they've given those animals, then it's no longer their business, it's no longer their interest. The Parks and Wildlife Management Authority has allocated $45 million a year. It says it needs at least $20 million more. The tender for the sale of wildlife closes on the 20th of May, after which authorities will be able to give details of applicants as well as the animal species that will be put up for sale. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.